Hello guys and welcome to another Arrow of Chaos video. Today we're talking about gem casting, the newest feature in the artifact sections in the game. You know I did many many guides on artifacts. Currently the thing that I'm happy about is the fact that this new feature made sure that certain artifacts that I would never develop to level 20, now it will be kind of worth to develop to level 20 depending on the passive abilities that they will unlock. But anyways, we're going to get to that later. Let me quickly guide you to the process. Basically, you're going to get uh, this thing, which is called, uh, I don't even know how it's called, Game Caster. So if you ha start casting, you see uh, this specific uh, setup appears. You have to polish one time for 45 of those and you get a specific stone. If you polish another time and you get the same stone, you will get the same stone but with higher quality. So currently we didn't get the same stone, so we're getting two grace. But if we were lucky, if we're getting two the same, one after the other, then we'll be unlocking the next level of the stone. Like in this particular situation, you see, we have one gray, one green, and now if you're lucky enough, we will get one blue if you get the same. Exactly, you see, I've never done it past level four. So if I do it now, it will be incredible can i do it i i just did it <laughs> i i cannot believe my luck i cannot believe my luck literally i cannot believe my luck look at this crazy stuff now once you obtain the stones you go here and it's important to see uh basically um which stones are required in order to unlock the specific um let's say the specific abilities that the artifact gives. In this particular case, it is called the power of luck. So I know it is uh, earth, so I need to get only earth stones here. How do you do that? You will always get the stones like this, neutral. So what you have to do is you need to start um, enhancing them. So the way to do that is just to click, click, uh, quickly click on a gem, let's say this thing here, and they, then you can say quick enchant. All right, and you can see the mark. This thing is fire. Unfortunately, it is not earth. So you have to keep casting until you get the earth and you have to put it here, depending on the shape. Once you do that, uh, you will unlock the specific um, abilities that the artifact provides. In this particular case, the power of luck level six gives a shield equal to 10% of, uh, of max HP uh, and the uh, unit becomes immune to spell damage. Basically, uh, Sandro is really, really... Uh, sad about that if somebody uses Sandro anyways uh, but yeah this particular artifact I have it at level 2 because the higher um, let's say level of stones you have uh, for instance I have one blue green blue uh, green if I if I was to have every single one of those pieces to be a, a blue one then I would have the levels of all the passive abilities to level 3 unfortunately I just have it level the same team applies to uh, the wizards well currently i have everything at level actually not actually yeah everything at level two i forgot that i have everything at level two uh, but uh, the same thing applies to any artifact that you have at level 20 once you have it at level 20 you can go for it and simply get everything to at least green state what i'm saying at least green is because if you want to cast gems it is really really expensive i'm sorry to enchant for instance this one will take 625 so the chance of you getting the element that you require is really low so in the first place try depending of course of those um, elemental dust how much of it you have but i would go for a gray or green green again can be expensive gray not that much so if you have a lot of gray stones you can always try to enchant them until you unlock the ability it depends on the amount of stones that you have, once again. You can also fuse um, uh, gems. For instance, I want to fuse those and then there you go. This is the result. Uh, this is basically something like a quick uh, fuse. If I want to fuse, uh, for instance, this thing, I want to fuse it uh, like this. And then I say place. And look at what's going to happen. It gives me 20% of this shape and 80% of this shape. If I fuse it, what's going to get? We are going to get a green, 
of this particular shape. So basically this is the entire point of the new uh, slate tower or whatever it is called. It is a new way to make artifacts basically useful because let's face it, the artifacts, big majority of them were getting slowly off meta with the exception for the Angelic Alliance. Everybody was just investing in Angelic Alliance. But now uh, this is really, really important because the moment you have enough uh, of those casting crystal let's say in one month they release the passive ability for the for instance the axe of erost and it's incredibly overpowered uh, then you can invest the casting crystals you've saved into this artifact get it to level 20 and then unlock the passive state so it's really really important and it basically opens a new page in the game once I have more information on uh, these artifact abilities, once I have more experience testing them, I'll probably make a video guide uh, guidance saying which one, in my opinion, is better. At this point, I just leveled the ones I have at level 20 so far, uh, the um, uh, Lucky Horseshoe and uh, Wizard 12, because the others that have them, their abilities unlocked, unfortunately, I don't have at level 20. And it's really, really difficult to unlock any of uh, these abilities. I believe the minimum level for you to unlock even one of them is level 11. Unfortunately, I cannot really do it yet. As you can see, for example, for instance, for Power of the Phantom 1, I have only 3 and 4 glowing, so I have to activate 1 and 2, and that's really, really unfortunate. All right, guys, this is going to be all for me for today. See you next time. Take care. Perfect!